Hello everyone, welcome back to Match Explored. Today's video is totally about the newly launched Kali Linux. So I just saw a post on LinkedIn that Kali 2024.1 version has been launched. I immediately get onto the official site and downloaded the ISO file and we will be going to set it up on our VMware together. So without wasting the time, let's get started. So I have started the downloading from the browser from the official website of Kali, that is Kali.org and am not being able to wait for the time to use the Kali Linux operating system. That is a totally new version. There are new tools they have included, like AMAS for directory enumeration and everything that like. So just wait, we'll wait for the downloading. Okay, so from here onwards, we are going to switch from Paratoverse to Polylinux. That is the official launch of the new version of Polylinux. So I hope you all guys are practicing Linux. Practice it. It will be helpful for you only. Okay, so let me just paste it uh, in my directory. Yes. Now we are going to turn on our VMware. So we'll configure this VMware. So we have to select our downloaded Kali Linux OS, the ISO file where we have downloaded. We have to select that ISO file from that file system. Okay. After selecting this OS, uh, I have to select the latest one which we have downloaded. And here we go. Then you have to select next, then Linux. Then here we have to go for Debian as Kali Linux's Debian based operating system. And now just give it a name as Kali 2024. And then we have to press next and then single next and finish. Then here we go that we're going to see a no spray. We just have to turn it on. Now the new interface, the new feel, everything you're going to experience. And let me shift to the full screen. And here we go. This is our new interface, new grub menu, interface of the grub menu. You let it put now. It's going to take some time. So we are going to switch to this Krabi Linux from now onwards. So this is just a basic configuration where you just have to press next. Then we have to select our country that will be the India and then we have to select uh, which language that could be under English it's fine then next and installation will begin during installation there are several different options it asks like genome KDE which desktop version which graphical version you want to go with that there are some kind of things when you're going to see that things in this installation. So the installation has begun now. So now are we going to ask me the host name? I'll keep it as it is. And the username I'll put it as Matrixploit. M-A-T-R-I-X-P-L-O-I-T. 
match exploit. And now set the parse to that as 1, 2, 3, 4, are you keep it simple in the mento. And now this process, we're going to take some time. I have this fast forwarded. Now here, you will be asked to select our different two types of graphical version, that is Genome and KDE. I'm selecting Genome. You can select anything, doesn't matter, like, it depends from person to person, which graphical interface you like. I personally select Genome. You can select anything. Now, on the next screen, it will ask you to reboot the system. Once it has downloaded, installed whole system, whole OS, now it is restarting. Now it has completed its installation process. Now whatever we are going to see, that will be our first interface of OS. And the login screen has appeared. Now here we'll put the username as matrix void and the password is 1234. Yes, let the screen load and this is our Kali Lettuce version 2024 installation. That's it for today's video. And please do subscribe my channel and please do like my channel if you have liked this video. Then please do subscribe and please please do like my video. Peace out.